What's up, YouTubers? Tonight, we are going to swap out the backspacer on this Spyderco Matriarch 2, which is the form factor of an Endura, I believe. Um, it's just a pretty gnarly uh, purpose, shall I say, a purpose design knife. Um, it has the Emerson Wave, and it only makes sense with an Emerson Wave to actually put a Signet ring on the back. So this is the Wise Man Company Signet ring should look something along those lines make it an interesting symmetry but i will actually un probably to end up swapping the pocket clip so that it can actually pull out karambit style um there's going to be a fair bit of fast forwarding on this just because i am not the fastest knife disassembler i'm not a nick shabazz so i'm going to be swapping this out i'll stop it or pause it as necessary to or maybe even just over to overlay some text onto the video where there were problems and things that you had to do. I know I have taken a couple of the backlocks bef uh, part before I had to with my Native 5 Chief. And the challenge is when you gotta go put them back and you gotta put this um, this, this back spring here, um, or I should say the, 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 back, the lock bar against the back spring, having to fit that whole thing in there. Um, there's gonna be a T8 for the pivot, T6 for the body screws and the pocket clip. I'm going to lock tight, and then I'm definitely, with this gnarly blade, going to be taping this blade up here for safety's sake. Because, like I said, this is, boy, this is a heck of a, a blade. I'll be doing a later review on it. Um, and, uh, and then also, if I know what I recall is sometimes with these that have internal liners, like the Indela, um, you have to kind of pop those off and having a good little... A Teflon or plastic based pry bar is good and then I'll uh, oil up the pivot just to keep that thing smooth So we will uh, I'm gonna pause here go get a beer and we'll continue on One thing I do want to stop it on here for is to show you that the cool thing is all the pins have nice D captive basically shapes there. So you can see that every single one of these has a nice D shape. So instead of trying to put the, the scale on with the liner, just go ahead and do the steel liners in there. And then that will help you get that guy on. Um, of course, the tough one is going to be that um, where the, the lock is. I think releasing that should... Oh. It was always going to be the toughest thing is to kind of get that guy on around there with the um, with the tension on there. So I definitely want as little tension as possible. And I want to basically pop that thing through. I'm going to focus here on the pivot and that lock face. Ooh, nice.
Oh, no. All right, I'll go back into silent mode. You'll see me struggle through this though. The, the challenge here is really going to be keeping those pivot or, or those uh, pins um, basically flat because you can see that it's, it's caused a little bit of a gap there. So I need to keep those flat and get this liner on. That'll be the current struggle. Isn't that the ultimate irony? I literally did fine until I was taking the tape off. And that tip, I gotta tell you, that tip, just the tip, that is a vicious little guy. Uh, man, just the slightest touch of that one went pretty deep. So, yeah, be careful, maybe double, I don't know, don't double that tape up. But I am not going to put the clip on, kind of like I thought about earlier is if I want to rear draw it. So thinking about this as a right hand tip up, um, if I put it in my pocket like I would a regular knife, I can grab the signet ring and it would pull it out, but I would be in the position of, you know, whatever finger I put in the hole there. Um, so if I were to, you know, I'm not gonna be putting my pinky and pulling that out because then I'm gonna be dragging that thing against my other finger. So if I pull it out and I use the wave, I'm, I'm caught like this. That's not really kind of a crambit defense position. You basically have to remove your hand up here. So the thing that's making sense to me is do basically left hand tip up, normal clip, um, and then I'll put it on the front left side of my pocket and it will literally draw. Um, it's not like this is gonna pop open, right? This this has plenty of spring that's not gonna go up and cut cut into my pocket into my privates um and so i th i'm thinking i'm going to do it that way and then all from the front side and i'll do this when i do the full review of the video um of the the entire knife in fact maybe i'll just do it uh on this one and just i'll make it a review of just the signet ring um without but then yeah then i can pull it get the fingers out of the way and then i'm in a position right there to grab so that is making a lot more sense is to do it that way i will do that stop this and then i'll try to get a shot or two of me kind of uh, wave drawing that with the ring from the front right pocket uh, and then we'll talk about it
Okay, so the Wiseman Signet. We're going to talk just a few minutes about it. Wiseman Company, that's how you can get these. They have them available for the Delica, as well as the Endura and the Matriarch 2, as you saw. Um, on the whole, what I will say, the installation was very easy. It was literally a straight replacement for their uh, Spyderco's little uh, plastic backspacer there. As always, again, with a back lock, it's just a little bit of a challenge to you know, get that um, the tension back on and get everything to fit um, on this on the, the screw side here. You know, it took just a couple bits of effort. Uh, do be careful. <laughs> yeah, definitely tape it up. Um, and of course, I even got cut uh, Wonder Woman. That's what I had nearby. And uh, yeah, what I would say is it's aluminum. It's very sturdy. It definitely gives a solidity to it. Nice fitment. I have no difference in action. Well, You've got to give it a little bit of wrist. This is a lock back and it's quite long. So you can see the sort of length that this thing gives you if you actually want to put your pinky in there. But that's really, the, the position is really this. Again, it's making essentially what was a purpose-built knife into a more specific purpose-built and draw knife. So I think that's what makes the most sense. If you're right-handed, go with the left-handed tip-up carry. Um, and then it makes it for a much more sensible draw from the front side of the pocket or if you're left-handed, you know, you do, your mileage may vary, but for the most part, I would say, oh yeah, by the way, this is $40 and, um, you know, it, you think about the various mods that you do to knives and this one is a relatively inexpensive one. Um, does it make it look any better? I don't know. It definitely makes it look a little bit longer, a little bit bulkier, I would say. But functionally, absolutely. For a quick draw, this is going to be pretty tough to beat now. Um, you know, if I'm not a self-defense guy as far as knives, but as a last ditch, you never know. This is not a bad carry, um, again. And this really is going to be easier to draw in a position of use above just about anything else now with the, with the signet ring um, on there. Again, with that draw and the wave catching on your pocket, you're going to be basically right into that position. So, yeah, I would say if you're going to be carrying this for the purpose that it's built, probably a pretty good investment. I'm happy I did it, and I uh, hope this was of use. If it was, like and subscribe, and have a great day. Take care now.